December 26th. We're trying to figure out our flights. The reason why she's calling us is because there's a state of calamity in Kalibo and uh, we our flight might have been canceled. But I think we're okay now. December 27th. We're headed to the Philippines. Took a lot, a little bit longer in customs than we anticipated, so we're getting rushed now to the train because we had to transfer terminals. And by train, I mean bus. So one of our biggest fears is losing our luggage, so we rushed as fast as we could to the baggage assistance counter. So this is Manila, huh? Christmas is definitely still in full swing. Okay, that's the shuttle. I'm a pup. It's warm. It's super warm. I love it. Made new friends already. I never realized how far the terminals really were from each other until I got on this bus. We made it though. So we've done a lot of traveling today, so we're a little bit famished and what better place to get eats than at an airport. This right here is five bucks maybe? for all of this. So I got this, two shop out. Two shop out <laughs> for five bucks. We're gonna dig in now. <laughs> final ship for today. This is where we're leaving you, it's your final destination. <laughs> Look at our luggage. So because of the storm, things were a little bit hectic and a little bit in shambles. Hey, so everything's here. I was thinking if we're getting a sh um, private boat or share. Private boat? <laughs> it's hot. I love it. It's great. But we still decided to change our clothes. Oh, the chairs, yeah. One thing I love about traveling is that we're always meeting new people. This is my friend Mario. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> So the road from Kalibo to Katiklan is long and windy. So much so, this guy had to get out of the van and vomit. Gets motion sickness. <laughs> Eventually, we made it to the port. So our own private boat, huh? Welcome to Katiklan. <laughs> so we're getting our own boat. This is so dope. I 
was a little service. excited. I just learned what porters were. Well, we made it to our destination. Kind of. Welcome to Boracay. So a lot of you are probably watching this and kind of confused as to what's going on. So we're going to be in this van for a little bit. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory. So Nash is from this province here in the Philippines. This province of beautiful islands, this beautiful language, and just everything here is beautiful. And Nash wanted to share that with me. So Nash brought me here so we could experience this together as a married couple. So we were expecting the worst when it came to what the Philippines would look like after this big typhoon, Typhoon Ursula. And honestly, it's not that bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's damage everywhere and a lot of things were knocked over, but it's repairable stuff. This place is still beautiful. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon for more notifications. So this is going to be our home base for the next few days. We're just getting settled in. At this point in our trip, we're starving. So we're headed to the Boracay beachfront. There's more restaurants and more things to do over there. So this whole video is just about getting to the Philippines, getting to this location. I don't want to ruin the surprise of what else we're going to be doing here in the Philippines, so I'm just going to cut it short here. So this is the first restaurant we went to here in the Philippines, was Mang Anisal. And legit, don't miss out on the unlimited rice, get the unli rice. I was going to vlog this in the Philippines, but there was intermittent electricity and internet because of the storm. So I've only found time now, during this COVID-19 pandemic, to edit. Thank you guys for watching this first official video of the Net and Tote series only on Tequila Creative.